let us talk about plotting graph. How big should your graph be? Here on the right hand side, if this is the entire graph space that they are given to you, if you just look carefully, you will notice that there are thicker lines in between. So you have the very small square and the big squares. So how big should your graph be? How the number of big squares on the y-axis and also the number of big squares on the x. For example, if there are 10 big squares on the y-axis and there are 8 big squares on the x, your graph should occupy at least 5 big squares on the y and 4 big squares on the x. So at least half of the space given. Now the next question is, how big should be my plotting points? Now in chemistry practical exam, they do not restrict the size of your plotting points, but be reasonable as in the point that you are plotting is clear enough for the examiners to read the value from the graph. Do not use dots. The third question is, do I round up the values before plotting? Let's look at an example. I have a scale like this. The interval will be 5 units. Now, I have to plot 11.4 on the graph. 2 squares will be 1 unit. So, 11.4 will be slightly below 11.5. So, in chemistry practical SM, you do not round up the values before plotting. You plot your points as close as possible to the true values.